Samsung's first Galaxy Chromebook, released about a year ago, was a thing to behold. It had an incredibly sharp and vivid 4K screen, a great keyboard, and a thin, light, well-designed body. It was almost everything you could want from a laptop, but its $1,000 price and embarrassing battery life made it a non-starter. Wisely, Samsung went back to the drawing board for the sequel. This year's Galaxy Chromebook 2 looks very similar to the original, but under the hood there are some significant changes. The good news is that they're all smart changes that make the Galaxy Chromebook 2 both cheaper and better than its predecessor. At first glance, the Galaxy Chromebook 2 looks near identical to last year's model. But the Galaxy Chromebook 2 is bigger this year, 13.9 millimeters thick and 2.7 pounds. That's still pretty compact, but the old Galaxy Chromebook was only 9.9 millimeters thick and 2.2 pounds. This is the first compromise you'll notice, but it's still a well-made laptop that's easy to carry around all day. Before powering it up, I took note of a few other things missing. There's no camera on the keyboard deck like last year, so if you flip the laptop around into tablet mode, you won't be able to take pictures. Not a big loss. Same goes for the lack of a built-in stylus. It's just not something I find that useful on a Chromebook. But if you do miss it, the Galaxy Chromebook 2 works as any universal stylus initiative pen. Finally, there's no fingerprint sensor on the keyboard like there was in the original. That's the first thing I really missed here, as using a fingerprint to log in is way easier than using a password. Fortunately, you can also set up a six digit pin to log in or use an Android phone to unlock the laptop. When I powered the laptop up, I briefly forgot it didn't have a 4K screen because the 1080p QLED touchscreen looks outstanding. Colors are bright and saturated without being exaggerated and viewing angles are solid. It's also a very bright screen, which helped a lot when working on a sunny morning. Yes, the resolution is lower, but the quality of the screen makes up for it. And given what a huge drain a 4K screen is on a laptop's battery, this is a trade-off that almost everyone will be in favor of. The display still has minimal bezels, at least on three sides. The chin below the screen remains an eyesore, and I really wish the display stretched more vertically. I've said many times how I prefer a 16 by 10 or taller aspect ratio on a laptop, but the vast majority of Chromebooks are still stuck with 16 by 9. I'm used to it, but I still sigh a little and miss the 2017 Pixelbooks 3 by 2 display. I believe Samsung is using the same keyboard and trackpad here as it did on the original Galaxy Chromebook, which I don't have a problem with. The keyboard isn't the best, it's a little shallow like Apple's old butterfly keyboards, but it's a lot softer to type on than those, and I got used to it pretty quickly. I wish the whole keyboard was shifted up a bit higher on the deck to make room for a larger trackpad, but it's still a good, if not exceptional, experience. As for the speakers, Samsung says it's using a technology called SmartAmp to crank them up to 178% louder than standard laptops without experiencing distortion. I don't know what they're measuring off, but they are impressively loud and pretty clear, even though they're positioned on the underside of the laptop and thus firing directly into your lap or a desk. Rounding things out are two USB-C ports, one on each side, a micro SD card slot, a headphone jack, a volume rocker, and a power button. Those side mountain buttons are meant to be used when the laptop is in tablet mode, but given that the Galaxy Chromebook weighs almost three pounds, I never used it as a tablet. The Galaxy Chromebook 2 that I tested cost $699 and came with a 10th generation dual core Intel Core i3 processor, 120 gigabytes of storage, and eight gigabytes of RAM. Last year's model had a Core i5 processor, so this is another place where Samsung cut a corner to save some money. I think this was a wise one, as a Core i3 was plenty of power for my workflow. To be fair, my needs aren't terribly processor intensive. Most days I have a couple Chrome windows going with 10 to 15 tabs in each, plus web apps for Hangouts, Slack, Trello, TweetDeck, Keep, and YouTube music. I also run a handful of Android apps, including Telegram, Facebook Manager, Spotify, and Adobe Lightroom, though most of those things aren't running at all times. The Galaxy Chromebook 2 handled all these tasks without slowing down. The biggest question I had going into this review was whether Samsung improved the Galaxy Chromebook 2's battery life. I'm happy to say the answer is a resounding yes, but unfortunately it's not all good news. In our video playback test where we loop a 1080p video continuously until the battery dies, the Galaxy Chromebook 2 lasted an impressive 11 hours and 49 minutes. That's not quite the 13 hours Samsung promises, but given that last year's model only lasted 5 hours and 11 minutes, it's a huge improvement. Real world performance was unfortunately a little mixed. I got between 6 and 7 hours of life before I had to reach for the charger. That's again, way better than last year's model, but not exceptional. Something as simple as a 20 minute video call really hurt the battery, 
but that speaks more to how power hungry Google Meet is than any serious deficiency with the Galaxy Chromebook 2. Overall, I still wish the battery life on this laptop regularly exceeded 8 hours without having to baby it. Samsung's Galaxy Chromebook 2 is much easier to recommend than the original. The company made smart choices about what to prioritize with this model, making it a computer that should satisfy a much wider swath of potential customers. I definitely wish the battery lasted an hour or two longer, but that's my only major complaint. Besides that, it's about as good of a premium Chromebook as you could ask for in 2021. There are much cheaper Chromebooks out there, but if you don't mind spending extra for a great screen, sound, and industrial design, the Galaxy Chromebook should be on your list.